Well, hello all. Another foggy day here in San Francisco. Uh, no drizzle, uh, high fog, sort of like August weather, and uh, temperatures of 55. Today, I thought I would talk about space junk. And you say, well, why are we talking about that? That's a fascinating subject. Let's get into some of it. There are about 7,000 satellites in orbit around Earth at this time. As of 2021, the U.S. Space Survey Network was tracking 15,000 pieces at 4 inches or 10 centimeters across of space junk. It is estimated there is about 200,000 pieces of space junk in space. Not all of it can be tracked. And you say, well, why is it a big deal? Well, this is where we get into some interesting stuff. The space station has been hit multiple times. It has a skin on it that protects it from small pieces of impact. But large pieces, like a four inch piece, would go right into the space station, cause a catastrophe. Now the Hubble Space Station is higher up than the Hubble Space Station. The Hubble Telescope is much higher in elevation than the space station and is, is, is much more into the junk realm of space, of uh, orbiting pieces of junk. And it was peppered, the solar panels were peppered with, with uh, bullet hole type things and it wrecked most of the solar panels with space, space junk so they replaced those the ones that were damaged now the interesting thing is any space junk in the orbit below the 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 hubble space telescope if it's below that those pieces of junk will deorbit within a year anything past the hubble space telescope will orbit for years and years and could be in orbit permanently. So that's how it works. That's why we keep everything in low Earth's orbit. It's the cleanest orbit we have right now. There is about 3,000 inactive satellites in orbit. Space junk can go 22,300 miles an hour. That's faster than a speeding bullet. Now another problem here is that the networks, the space-based networks, are also at risk from being hit by space junk because they're in higher elevation where the space junk never will deorbit and we'll just keep flying around and, and every time we blast a, a rocket off into space and leave all the parts just floating in space it just keeps adding to the space junk that's already there so that's sort of interesting and uh, more and more stuff is going into space every day just about somewhere around the world can we do anything about this not really we can't stop using something so that they'll stop sending stuff up into space humans are going into space and they'll go there as long as they can in other words as long as there's material to get them up into space they will go there it's just the way humans are we're very curious about everything and space is the next frontier so There's all kinds of new equipment being made that will go up and attach to a satellite and deorbit it. But that's, uh, often, uh, that's often the distance and still isn't uh, viable yet. What's your thoughts on space junk? Kind of an interesting subject. Lots of it, more and more each year. What are we going to do about it? I definitely appreciate your ups, the downs, the new subscribers, and definitely your comments. And until next time.